Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Um, so, uh, today we're going to look at uh, Dai Kokutan, uh, the Impossible Mission. And um, the focus for this one is going to be using um, satellite in this mission. And uh, the gimmicks here are mines and warps. And then a satellite has um, null uh, flight only. So she only addresses the mines and uh, she does not address the warps. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this mission will be, um, or this run, is going to be sort of a uh, test uh, to see how to use um, satellite uh, in this mission. And then the uh, great benefit of uh, using satellite is that she has a, a strong bump combo, the uh, lock-on one-way laser. And so uh, yeah, her being the uh, dark element, she'll do extra damage to the boss of uh, Dai Kokuten. Um, so yeah, we'll see how usable she is here, and then uh, how to use her uh, as well. And then... Even if you were not interested in using uh, or creating a satellite max luck, and then using uh, satellite as your max luck, um, it is useful to know how to use her, uh, because later on we will be getting the, um, the uh, transcendent form of Loki, uh, who is almost exactly like satellite. Uh, he's got Minesweeper and then a uh, lock-on one-way laser. Um, but his uh, lock-on one-way laser will be, uh, he'll be a blast type. Uh, so that will do, boy, double or even more than double the damage of Satellite here. And um, yeah, ever since he was released, he's been recognized as one of the, uh, the top characters for Daikokuten. Um, so I was figuring if I could uh, get in uh, practice with uh, Satellite now, uh, when Loki comes out, then I'll be very ready to use him in uh, this mission. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to getting Loki, uh, because this is a tough mission. And I would like the max luck of uh, Dai Kokuten, uh, but I really need all the help that I can get. Okay, so the first two stages were pretty straightforward. And then, um, yeah, here's the first mini ball stage. And uh, this one's a little tough, because there's no healing wall. And then there are no hearts at all during this entire mission. Um, so we really need to be careful uh, on this mission and then the next. Um, so that we can preserve our hit points. And then uh, the three other characters that I'm using are uh, Marishten, and then Benkei, and then uh, Zhang Fei. And uh, for the moment they are probably the best characters uh, for this mission. Uh, later on we'll get um, uh, Loki of course, and then uh, Royce. Um, but for now, these are probably the best characters. Um, Tsukuyomi also may be good, and then uh, Kushinada also may be good. Alright, so there we see that Satellite does not have the Null Warp, so... Yeah, if her positioning is no good, then there's not really anything she can do. Uh, which is fine, because we're using her more for her uh, bump combo than anything else. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, the uh, mini boss uh, it has a pattern. Um, the uh, the first turn uh, after it moves, or the first turn the, when it's uh, entering the stage, it does the spread shot. Um, there it is. And then, after that, there is a uh, White Blast. And so that's two uh, short-range attacks in a row. Um, so we want to keep our guys away from uh, Dai Kokuten. And then, uh, a turn or two later, does the, uh, the Cross Laser. And then, a turn after that, uh, does the uh, Movement. Um, so yeah, if you can memorize that pattern uh, for this uh, mini-boss stage, that'll make that a little bit easier. And then... Um, Positioning is important as well. Uh, at the beginning of this mini-boss stage, we do not want to be in the lower right-hand corner. And then for the next uh, mini-boss stage after this, we do not want to be in the upper right-hand corner. Um, because of those two uh, short-range attacks. Um, but if we wanted to use our uh, strike shots, like our um, wall-bound strike shots or uh, Mati uh area strike shot, uh, we can go ahead and use that and hopefully take out the boss in the uh, first turn. Um, I usually like to play it safe, though, and um, save those strike shots for later. 
All right, so just a couple seconds ago, we saw the uh, satellite's uh, bump combo go into the boss's weak point. And that did a pretty good damage. Uh, but if we imagine that that were Loki, then that would be maybe double that damage. So that would be, be pretty crazy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, my uh, feeling about how uh, Satellite plays in this mission is that uh, her laser is great, uh, but only if it hits the, uh, the boss's weak point. Um, when it hits the boss's weak point, then it really feels like that she's worth using. Um, otherwise, not a whole ton of damage. Um, her strike shot is pretty strong though. It's the laser plus homing. And then... Here, I'm counting on the homing uh, taking down that uh, demon in the corner, who's uh, one turn away from um, uh, doing the white explosion to take us out. So we use the laser on the boss, and then the homing on the little guys, and that happened to work out, so... Okay, so there goes the mini-boss. And then, uh, yeah, after we clear those two uh, mini-boss stages, then we get to this uh, final stage before the boss, and then here there's a chance to um, uh, work on our positioning, or uh, do healing, or uh, charge up our strike shots. Uh, if you read my uh, book review about uh, talking about the interview of the uh, designer for this mission, uh, he did design this stage to be an uh, oasis uh, to get you ready for the boss stages. Alright, so ideally I'd like to move all my guys uh, to the top. Uh, just in uh, preparation for the uh, next stage. And so, uh, yeah, um, getting this clear, um, I did see the merit of using uh, Satellite. And uh, I think it would be funny if uh, when uh, Loki comes out to do uh, Satellite, Satellite, Loki, Loki, that kind of team. It would just be a uh, laser paradise, pretty much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, sort of the, the mechanics of um, the mission changes once you get to the boss stage. Uh, in the uh, pre-boss stages, the uh, laser barriers were around the, uh, the demons. Uh, but as we can see, the demons no longer have laser barriers. Um, so Satellite's uh, laser will come in uh, much more handy now. And then um, there are laser barriers around the, uh, the masks that we see on the bottom of the screen. And then uh, we don't want to uh, take those down anyway. Um, so that makes the, uh, the laser uh, even more useful uh, for this mission. So yeah, once we get to the boss stage, then um, satellite becomes much more useful. And then um, in addition to the uh, laser being more useful in the, uh, the boss stages, uh, the warps are less of a nuisance in the boss stages. Uh, as you can see, they're all uh, towards the bottom of the screen. And so, uh, yeah, if we stay out of that kind of that, uh, that gutter down there, then um, the fact that Satellite does not have a null warp doesn't really uh, figure into it in any way. So yeah, while using a Satellite, it's really just the, uh, the pre-boss stages that are difficult for her. Um, after that, it becomes uh, she becomes much more usable. Okay, and uh, yeah, on uh, these uh, stages, these boss stages, after um, it does the the move around and explosion attack, uh, then we can start to get close to the boss and move our guys uh, towards the bottom. Um, but thinking about the uh, the next stage, we want our characters uh, more towards the right of the screen. So we'll try to do the, uh, the last damage uh, with uh, that in mind. Okay, and uh, it's okay if we take down uh, one of the masks. That will not uh, trigger the, uh, the boss's uh, anger. Okay. So we'll see if we can maintain our uh, positioning. Mm, this is decent. <laughs> I don't have my guys on the right side of the screen, uh, but this will work. Um, as long as I'm not sandwiched between the wall and then the uh, Vishnu, or between the wall and the mask, uh, then I'll be alright. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to move my guys over towards the, uh, the right side of the screen. And um, that is especially true for a satellite. 
um, so that she is uh, closest uh, to the boss and uh, also so that her uh, laser can go into the boss. Alright, so with uh, Marishten we'll move over to the right, get some healing in. Alright, excellent. Okay, and then, um, yeah, Satellite's uh, positioning is okay now. Uh, we'll try to improve it by moving her to the right of uh, Daikok then. Okay, that's great. So where she is now, her one-way laser will go into the boss, so that's pretty good. So let's get that one-way laser in there. Yeah, decent damage. Um, I don't believe it hit the uh, weak point though, since it was inside the, uh, the mask's weak point. Okay, so here we should see good damage. Alright, pretty good. Uh, Marishten's laser was in there as well, but still, good damage. Okay, so yeah, I'd like to uh, finish this uh, stage um, sooner or later, sooner the better. So we'll use a Marishten strike shot, get a little bit of healing, and then hopefully take down the boss. No. Alright, so there's that move around and explosion uh, attack. Uh, fortunately, our positioning was good, so we didn't get hit by it. Okay. And uh, with this, I think we will take down the boss. Okay, pretty good. And our positioning for the uh, next uh, stage is good too. Uh, we want to be towards the bottom so that we can take down the, uh, the little guys uh, down there. So we'll concentrate on that first. Okay, that works. Okay, and then we'll take down um, this demon on the right. Very good. And then uh, here I see a good chance to use the uh, satellite strike shot in the boss's weak point. Alright, pretty good damage. And then again, um, I can play the, uh, the waiting game um, to wait for the boss to uh, do that move around and explosion attack. Um, so that I can um, go after the boss uh, after. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I will kind of work on my positioning and then uh, get some healing in. And then uh, for the positioning, I would like to be uh, kind of the upper right corner of the screen. Um, so that works there for uh, Zhang Fei. And let's get Satellite's laser in. Okay, yeah, so not great because it didn't go through the boss's weak point. Okay, I see the move around and explosion attack is coming next, so we'll just move out of position. And then uh, Zhang Fei is going to get hit. Alright, uh, unfortunately she got stunned, so we'll hope that she heals uh, by the time her turn comes around. And then, uh, yeah, also with Benkei we'll work on uh, positioning, try to get him into the upper right hand corner. Okay, that'll work. And then uh, with Zhang Fei here, we can do one of two things depending on where the weak point comes. Um, if the weak point comes on the uh, left side of Dai Kokten, we can do a side to side with the strike shot. If it comes on the top, then you can kind of do a tricky shot where you bounce off the bottom wall, hit the top wall, and then come down and hit the boss's weak point. Uh, which is why you want to be on the upper right hand corner with either Zhang Fei or Benkei. Alrighty. So, I think, um, I, think I like uh, Satellite uh, for this mission. I might like her more than uh, Tsukuyomi, actually. Um, because one, I prefer uh, bounce characters, and then uh, two, not having Null Warp wasn't so much a big deal uh, for Satellite, um, especially in the boss stages. And then uh, Satellite is a better source of uh, damage as well. Alrighty, so yeah, I'm going to keep uh, using Satellite as I go through Dai Kokten uh, in anticipation of using Loki. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.